politician Lembit Opik has come to Barnsley to help a local man campaign for a law change, allowing segways to be used. It comes after Philip Coates was charged with riding his segway on a pavement. I'm here because for the last couple of years I've been trying to clarify the law in terms of the segway, self-balancing personal transport as it's technically known. I don't believe that they're illegal even at the moment, but they are very convenient, they're very safe and they're very green. It's beyond me why, despite so many other European countries being happy to let their citizens use them, Britain stands out uh, as a country which says, oh, they might be illegal. I've actually tried to get uh, arrested, I've tried to get summons myself, live on television. Nobody's interested. Think of the contrast as a high-profile member of Parliament. I actually used a segue on roads and, frankly, on pavements, live on British television. Meanwhile, Mr Coates is just trying to get around Barnsley and he gets prosecuted for that. Well, this is a good time to really get to the heart of the matter. Are they legal? Are they not? I actually think it's pretty much proven that by precedent they are legal for road use. And if we can get some clarification about the circumstances under which they can be used on pavements, perhaps to the same rules that apply to mobility scooters, then this test case can make a big difference, not just for Mr Coates, but for Segway users around the country. I've appeared in court for riding a Segway on the pavement. Uh, they're unclassified at present. Nobody knows, seems to know what to do with them. And so it's a, becoming a test case. It's just an interim hearing. Uh, the defence has put a case forward, then the prosecution, and we have to appear again on the uh, 19th of November for the trial. An ex-traffic policeman saw me riding it and reported me to the local police. And the, the local police had seen me riding it and never bothered. Uh, it's from America. It's an American invention, but it's actually a British company now that owns the company in America. And I tried them in Florida, uh, and I was just amazed by how simple they are to use and how you can get about. And so I just have to have one of these. Well, the government, they've been budgeted for eight years trying to get them classified, but they've just been burying their head in the sand up and it'd probably go away, but it's not going to go away. And like they're used in all European countries, and we're supposed to be part of Europe. It's ridiculous, I think, really. It's oh, just minding my own business, not bothering anyone, and I've ended up in court with it. But Mr um, Kurtz has been prosecuted by the Crown Prosecution Service for riding his Segway um, on a pavement. Um, so we are, we are challenging that uh, and we are defending him on behalf of his case. Well, today's hearing was a pre-trial review hearing. Mr Kurtz has already entered a guilty plea. Um, today was to lay the grounds for our defence and establish a timetable to work towards so the case can progress naturally through the courts and, and that's all today's hearing was. So we're back on the 19th of November and we'll see what happens then. Well, Mr Opic, as you probably know, has been a, a champion of the Segways of products for a number of years. So obviously it's come to his attention and he's um, attended to give his support. Hi, I'm Nikki and this is wearevansley.com. See our other video for Lembit's lesson on how to ride a Segway.